Hi there, my name is Kevin. In this video, we are going to be exploring placeholder show and how it works. You can see here, there's a placeholder. When that goes away, things are actually changing. I'm changing my CSS when the placeholder is shown or not shown. It's a really easy thing to do. There's obviously maybe not a, a bit of an extreme example that we're looking at now, but you can change border colors, you can change properties, you can change a whole bunch of stuff, and it can help you write a little bit less CSS and be a bit more efficient with your CSS, and it could really come up in some really cool situations. And just before we jump into it, I apologize. I do have a little bit of a cold, so I might sound a little bit funny in this video, but the content should be just as good as usual, so let's go and take a look. So to understand how placeholder show-in is actually working, first let's look really quickly just at our placeholders. So you can see I've put a placeholder in each one of these, and when we have a placeholder, as soon as I start typing and I put my own text in there, the placeholder disappears and it gets replaced with my own text. But as soon as I have no text remaining, it comes back in with my placeholder right there. If ever you need to style just the placeholder, you could use the pseudo, uh, the pseudo element for a placeholder, uh, placeholder. And that we could say like font size is 40 pixels. Let's just say for fun, which is gonna be really big. Now the interesting thing with that is it's only the placeholder. So if I come in here and type, the regular text is still really small. So I'm only changing what the placeholder looks like. A lot of the time, this is what you'll use to change the color or something like that. Now it is with the double colon here because the placeholder itself is a pseudo element, whereas the placeholder show in has a single colon because it is a pseudo selector because it's only selecting things in certain situations or certain states, let's say. Uh, so a lot like say hover or active and all of those things you might put on a link. So if I use placeholder show in, what we can do with this is some interesting stuff. So let's save that so we go back and we'll get rid of that. And on my placeholder showing, what this is saying is if something is showing a placeholder, it's gonna get a certain style. So just to make this really obvious, let's give it a background color of red, uh, just so you know it's really gonna stand out. And just like that, it really <laughs> stands out. But as soon as we come in here and we start typing, the placeholder is no longer showing, so now the placeholder is showing. This does not apply anymore. Now, I don't think doing something like this is terribly useful, but there are some times where uh, the placeholder showing can be pretty interesting. There's two options. One of them is when we come in, um, and let's say you had a form like this one where I have my first name. Instead of having uh, the placeholder there, just because it is a little bit redundant with my label, I don't really need them. So I'm actually gonna replace my placeholders here with a non-breaking space. And I'm sure you've seen this a bunch of times before. So non-breaking space and just like that. Uh, so it's gonna come in and just pretty much be blank, but it's still technically a placeholder. It's just an empty placeholder. You could probably just put an empty space like that as well if you wanted to. Um, so let's say we came and replaced them all with this. And I don't know if this is best practice necessarily, but we are setting it up to have these blank um, ones. And you can see I've put required on the first one and this last one here, which is actually why I'm getting the red box uh, surrounding that as well. And let's get rid of that red background because it doesn't look very good. Um, so if we want to highlight stuff, what we could do is I already have a little bit of stuff coming up here. So we could say highlighted fields are required and we could highlight fields of items that are so we could say input that is required and really you could just say required like that if you wanted to um, but I'm going to say input required and I'm going to say place holder showing so if I do that it's only going to look for placeholder showing that have a required that are inputs that have the required attribute so the square brackets like this is in attribute selector if you want more on that I do have a video that talks just about all the different types of really cool selectors that do exist out there um, so we can take a look at uh, doing something like border color. And in this case, I do have a custom property set up, uh, which is my orange color. So I could have a different color if it's a required field. So I need the first name, I need your email address, but I don't really need your last name. So we're highlighting our required fields instead of putting one of those little stars or something like that, that it doesn't look so nice. Because, uh, you know, that always, that's not always the something that you want to do. Right. Uh, sometimes you want to do something because, uh, you know, from a design perspective, sometimes you want to do something a little more. Maybe this is a little extreme uh, with the really the red there. You might have a better color scheme or something like that. Uh, but it does give you a bit of an idea of one of the things you can do with it. Another option is if you do have placeholders and uh, let's say we keep that on there. But what we could do is maybe you like how the font is currently right now. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to say that my input has a font size of say 2M because let's say we want to make it bigger. 
Maybe I don't want to do that for my placeholders. I only want to change this font size for when someone's actually writing inside of it. And maybe this is a little bit too big. Let's turn that down just a scooch. There we go. So say we want it to be big like that, but we don't want our placeholders to have that font size. So what we could do is input not placeholder showing. And if we do something like that, and we turn this back on, when the placeholder is shown, it's keeping the original font size that was already on there. But then if I come in and I start writing, it's going to jump up and be the bigger font size. Now it looks a little bit awkward. <laughs> it's jumping and changing size once we type in it. And then once we shrink it down, it's going to a smaller size. I agree with you. It's a little bit awkward. Maybe you don't want to change the font size. Maybe you want to make something bold or you want to make a certain change to something. This is a nice little neat trick that you can do where you don't have to sort of do things twice. Uh, it could be the font family as well. You want to change the font family between the two for whatever reason. Uh, there's a few different use cases where you could use this not selector. So you don't have to first do it for your input and then do it for your placeholder. You can just have it work once here if that's the certain situation. This is probably not one of those things that you're going to use on every single project, but it comes up in that perfect use case where you're just like, oh man, I'm so happy. I remembered. I know that exists. Let me double check to see how it works. And then you try it and you're super happy that you remembered that it is there. So I hope you liked this little tip. If you did and this is the first video you're watching and you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing by hitting the button down below. Of course, hit that like button, leave a comment down below if you've used this in a cool way or have any cool ideas on how you could use placeholder showing. If you'd like to see that video that I talked about on the other types of selectors, it should be on the screen right now. Big thank you to my patrons for helping support me and everything I do here. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner on the internet just a little bit more awesome.